want to put them on your nuts, you get big. You know, okay. so we made it dirty and, and uh, aggressive and have no chance of getting big. And it didn't, which is great. So we <laughs> achieved that. You know, it would be funny if it got big. You know, and it was like. We gotta try something else. <laughs> something dirtier and even faster. <laughs> yeah, but I like that, you know, I like that quality, I, you know. Uh, I'm a metal fan myself, you know, so. Yeah. The older I get, the heavier stuff I get into it, and um, I like that, you know, I think it's it's cool to work like that and um, have, have that kind of, uh, music has that kind of impact on me, so. I, I don't know, you keep trying, you know, I think the secret is just keep going and trying different things and uh, just keep trying to surprise yourself and the fans as much as you can at the same time maintain stay true to your, your roots you know I mean that's really kind of what, what we try to do but it's always kind of exciting to look for uh, when you when you enter a record to do a record it's always exciting um, project, you know, because you it's open in front of you. You can do whatever you want with it, you know. You have lots of different influences in the music beside metal and beside punk. What kind of music do, do, do you take influence from? On Cavalera? On and all your projects. Ca Cavalera is more metal, you know. We're actually kind of racist against other kinds of music, you know. We don't like anything else. We don't let nothing inside Cavalera, like like no. No pop, no hip hop, no reggae. Um, so it's a strictly metal, yeah. punk metal. Punk you know. Metal. Do you project. still follow? Do you follow any like um, Brazilian underground or like heavy metal bands? Like, yeah, we like, play with like, a lot of them. You know, so it's a cool scene down there. You know, you got a lot of. There's a lot of cool uh, new bands coming out like Test and uh, Claustrophobia. Uh, Nervo Chaos, you know, more death metal, but they always, they always like death metal in Brazil. Black metal, death metal, it's always big there, you know. Which is weird, it's so sunny there, and like, you know, yeah. it's usually you get all the black metal and the death metal, like Norway or yeah, Sweden, yeah. everywhere. Yeah, but it's fucked up, you know, it's, uh, it's poor. Yeah. People are pissed off, so they need that. Yeah, they, yeah. Like teenagers, you like, that's yeah. when you get into metal, like teenagers. That's what we got into, you yeah. know. <laughs> How do you keep up with like all your fans? Because you got three huge projects. How do you how, how do you do it? Just go from one to the other without really thinking. You know, it's just kind of natural for me now. Uh, like this tour, I do this tour with Cavalera like two weeks, and I stay in Europe for a week. And then I jump into a SoFly European tour right away. So you don't have I don't any even free go home. Time. Yeah, you don't have any free time. It like. Nah. If you just write and tour, write and tour for all the different. If I don't bands. see my house for two years, I'm perfectly happy. <laughs> I don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> Can I ask you about the, about Soulfly? How did you choose like the, the collaboration, especially for Soulfly? Was it just by friendship, or did you choose to collaborate with certain artists? We we like to work with people that that we think we, is, is gonna like to work with us. It's like one of the main things. Like you don't want to do a collaboration with somebody that. Then you want to, but the guy's like not into it. That would suck, you know. So most of the people that I choose is people that I like. Like for the new album, we have uh, Todd from Nails. Uh, I love Nails, you know. It's one of my favorite new bands. And we have Matt from King Parrot. I also love King Parrot. So I chose these two guys, you know. It's like more newer, newer metal, you know. But uh, really cool. Uh, we're, uh, you know, in the future we hope we can. Still work with some legends like Lemmy or Ozzy, you know, that's still on a wish list. But we see what happens, you know, I, I still, I also like to stay connected with the, with the metal of right now, you know, that, that's going on right now. What, what was one of your favorite collaborations that you did? If you could say, what are your favorite ones? Tom Mariah was one of my favorite ones, like I love Slayer, you know, and uh, it was really cool because it was, uh, there was a time in, 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 in history in metal where Sepultura and Slayer were enemies. You know, and there was a lot of bad stuff in the press. You know, bad talking. I remember that? Actually. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it went on for a while, and uh, and so people thought we were enemies and this and that. But I always loved Slayer. You know, Slayer is one of my favorite yeah. bands. So I, when I was doing Primitive, I had the idea to ask Tom to sing Terrorist. You know, and it's, he came, and it was one. The whole week I just heard, just listen to Slayer in my car like nonstop. <laughs> I was like a teenager again. It was real fun. 
You know that the, the big tour you did with the, that thing, the corrosion and conformity? Any chance you're going to do the same in Europe? I'd love to, you know. Yes. In fact, it's one of the things I think we need to bring this kind of package to Europe, you know, because I think everybody wants it so bad. Yeah. And uh, it worked out really good in America. I think it, it would work in Europe as well. So I hope we're going to talk to our booking agent, you know. Hopefully we can yeah, we come like up with it. something like that. Because it was a, 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 an amazing tour. Yeah, last time we saw Cavalera Conspiracy was the Sony Sphere, like a few years, four or five years ago. And since then, <laughs> yeah, so you we, we, you need to... we're gonna try yeah. to come up with a uh, proper package probably next year. Is, is that a Killer Be Killed? Is a project that is gonna stay, or you think it was just one off? Or is... We're gonna try to do more, but it doesn't do as much because it's really the, 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 the people involved are really busy with other things like. Troy is always busy with Mastodon. Yeah. Uh, how do you how, how do you kind of like connect to each other? How do you manage to? We just stay in touch, and from time to time we, if we have a, a open window of a month or two that we can do some stuff like we had in January. Okay. Uh, so we did Australia. We did uh, Soundwave Festival. You know, it was killer. It was awesome. And uh, but I really like uh, kind of like the freedom of Killer BQ. Because it's very different, you know, I get to do more melodic stuff, yeah. different stuff, and I look forward to the next record. I think it's going to be a really good record. It's really different, but it's nice because all your projects, they're kind of different, so you can, you know... Yeah, you, you have to, you know, yeah, otherwise, what's the point? Yeah, you just, you just, you just have one band. And then yeah. <laughs> so what, what you, what's your future touring um, projects? You just, you, you're going to do download, and then... And then Hellfest, oh, uh, nice. Grass Pop, all those, uh, okay. Cavalera is doing all those. Then we have a show in Israel, Jerusalem, Cavalera, first time. And then I switch gears to Soulfly. We have a full European tour with a lot of festivals. Oh, like so you, you Czech can... Republic, okay. uh, Germany, you know. Uh, then after that, I have a, a US tour with Decapitated and Soil Work, Soulfly, which is going to be really cool. That's another package that should, should come here. <laughs> like, yeah. You know. So let's hope for next year. I hope. Uh, I love to do like a tour with like a boarded, you know, and uh, it's gonna be heavier and heavier. Yeah, maybe even, <laughs> yeah. and, and, uh, you know, we just saw the t shirt, like, why is he wearing it? Yeah, yeah, my son just toured with them, <laughs> Richie, oh, yeah. inside. Yeah, they did an American so he's, tour. So he's playing with them, yeah, oh. he did a tour with them. So he got me the shirt. <laughs> it's, it's nice to have like uh, your son into music, yeah. Do, do you feel very proud? Like, it's, oh, yeah, yeah. And, and also it keeps me in contact with the, with the stuff, you know, my son shows me so much music. Like Full of Hell, Noise M, uh, Palace Infection, all these bands that cough, Dow. I didn't know any of this shit. Okay. You know, he shows that to me, so, so it keep, you, keeps yeah. me modern. <laughs> <laughs> one last I don't question. grow old like a dinosaur. You <laughs> <laughs> yeah. feel young all the time. Yeah. Just one last question because you tour with loads of like great bands as well. Do you have any nice, crazy story about touring, something that happened that can be told? on live camera? <laughs> um, that's tons of crazy yeah. stories, just read my book. <laughs> I got a lot, of, a lot of them in there, you know, puking on Eddie Vedder and all that. You know, all puking on Eddie Vedder, that's and, interesting. Uh, Can you expand on that? Uh, well... <laughs> <laughs> I need to know about that. <laughs> that was during the ministry tour and um, it was in Seattle and they were all hanging out in the ministry bus. And I, I went to hang out there like a drunk idiot with a bottle of rum and I was drinking a lot. And I kept drinking, drinking, and he was sitting next to me, you know, and uh, I took one more drink and I couldn't hold it anymore and I just went <laughs> around his leg. He was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. <laughs> but, I don't uh, think so. Maybe yeah. it's not fun anymore. I haven't seen him ever, ever that happened, but, you know, that story became super popular and you know, infamous, and uh, so that's one of them. Uh, one of the coolest thing I saw was in China. Soulfly had a show in China, and they had a circle pit like we do here. Yeah. But they were doing with the hold, holding hands, which was really wild. I never seen it. And there was, it must have been like 500 of them. It was a big oh, wow. pit, you know, right in the middle. All holding hands. All holding hands. Uh, so I, I call it the circle of love. Yeah, like, it's not really <laughs> circle pit of love. <laughs> that is like very. It was really cool.